thank you for having me. Yes, I'm Juliet Wright from Brisbane. We don't have a Brisbane day. <laughs> I'm a wife, a mother, a CEO, and um, one day I woke up and I decided that I was going to fight poverty, which was a huge surprise to my husband. Uh, at the start of this year, I was named Australia's local hero, which was the most amazing thing that has ever happened to me outside of children. Um, the Australia Day Awards was probably the proudest moment in time I've ever had, but I am deeply, continuously, mostly proud to be an Australian citizen and consider my Australian passport one of my most valuable items. I know it can be replaced, thank you, <laughs> but it's still my most valuable. When I was awarded the Australia Local Hero back in January, a part of the duties was to attend the local, my first citizenship ceremony overlooking Parliament House, and I was with my mother. We were crying the whole time. We were both completely stunned about how emotional and wonderful the ceremony was. I remember looking out at the families and wondering what brought them here. Was it economical or environmental? Uh, were they refugees? I didn't know any of their stories. And then we started to unfold and hear their stories, which made me cry more. Uh, what have they been through? And did they fall in love with someone in the land down under? I was so curious about these new people. And no matter what the reason, I remember standing there feeling really overwhelmed with pride that I was an Australian citizen, but we are a truly multicultural country. And I want to thank everybody who's involved. Um, I think the one of the things that I really picked up on that day was how wonderful the experience was, but it gave people a sense of pride. You could see it oozing out of them, but it also gave them a sense of belonging. Now, having a sense of belonging is a huge human basic need, just like the need for food and shelter. Feeling you belong is so incredibly important. Having a true connection is vital for your mental health and helps you overcome extreme crises because, as you know, Australia is struggling with people, an increase in marginalised, vulnerable people who are living in poverty. Together we have to work to create real communities. It's important to maintain and engage with people in their local communities by getting involved, by bringing their energy, investigating shared values, changing some old values and shifting beliefs and bringing everyone's own experience and knowledge and insight, but also supporting those who are around them who are struggling. As I mentioned, and it's been mentioned that I'm the CEO of a national charity called Give It, which its goal is to make sure that people in need get exactly what they need when they need it the most. So it's alleviating the effects of poverty. I haven't quite solved poverty yet, we'll get there, but we're just making sure that people have exactly what they need when they need it the most. And I built the website where basically people like yourself can donate and you can pledge an item. So if you had a pram, you could pledge it and put it in the virtual warehouse. And charities in your area can see exactly what's in their area, but there's no warehouse, it's all virtual. But if charities can't find what they need in the virtual warehouse, they can request it. So it's a unique model and it works very well in disaster recovery. Charities can request items, any number of items, and any type of items on behalf of their clients. And everyday Australians, citizens like yourself, can see those requests and meet those needs and seriously help someone in need. And I believe that this builds a sense of community and a sense of belonging, and it helps, I think, shape us all into good, wonderful citizens. And as a connected citizen, we can all do something to contribute back to community, which has given us so much. Simple things make such a huge difference. You know an act of kindness, even a smile. A small donation or a simple item through Give It can make a world of difference to someone in need. Like a washing machine for a mother of four who's got a bedwetter can allow her to get a part-time job. Or a pair of closed-toe work boots for a man who's got a homeless family that he's not he's trying to support, a pair of closed toe work boots can get him work on the roads. Or a simple MP3 player can actually support a boy who's got schizophrenia and voices in his head. They're simple items that make a massive difference to people's lives. So I started a, another website, because I wasn't busy enough, and it's called Give It Kids. And that's where children can now donate their pre-loved items to meet the material needs of children living in poverty. So we have shocking childhood stats. One in six children in Australia are living in poverty under the internationally accepted poverty line. 
And I think we have a lot of work to do to actually make this change. So I've recruited children. <laughs> so what we can do is just make sure that children have exactly what they need when they need it the most. And it's really simple things like school socks, the right school hat that can help children grow and thrive and strive. But my favourite ever item that was requested through Give It Kids was a pair of soccer boots for a boy that had recently arrived from Eritrea. And he had no friends and he had no language and he had no community. And the charity that requested the boots told us two weeks later that the young man was an absolute football legend. So within one day, this pair of boots, had got, he had gone from zero to hero. So he suddenly found himself in a team with a coach with a fan club, with a community, just because of a pair of boots. And not, there is an enormous amount of people who care, and as Givet has witnessed in the last five short years, we have now donated over 220,000 items through the Givet website to people in urgent need, like that young boy. So we no longer have to be rich and powerful to be wonderful and powerful philanthropists. And as citizens, we belong to this wonderful country, but I think we have a responsibility to support our most impoverished and help make a difference. There is a massive movement of small and effective philanthropy across Australia, and no matter what your financial situation is, simple items can actually have a massive impact on someone else's life. So I'm pretty excited and joyful and thankful to be here today. And I also think about what, and hopeful about what we can achieve together by strengthening communities by that simple act of giving. And I'm very, very grateful to the Department of Immigration and Border Protection for sponsoring the Local Hero Award and giving me this platform to raise the profile of Give It and make sure that more and more people in need get exactly what they need. Thank you.